my family is farmer. We live in a, in a tent, so we don't have like education, like school. I riding horses. My father teach me about riding. I don't have anything. I'm lost my family. I've lost my animal. They really broke my heart. It was from war zone to, to war zone. Uh, the next stop was Libya, but then conflict came to that region too. I got really bad life in Libya. Abdul flatly refused. War had killed his parents, who had been responsible for the death of his sisters, and he didn't want to be in an army or any part of war. I'm like 10 years old, I'm homeless. Uh, sometime in France, I sleep in the bean. Outside, I sleep in the bean because it's French very cold and freezing. I'm riding horses. I feel like uh, with my family. They understand me, or oh, I understand them. The fact that he's survived is remarkable in itself. The fact that he's now thriving in an industry that he passionately wants to be part of is very, very heartwarming. I feel like, like my best friend horse, I feel like my best little horse. I would like jockey like Frank Tittori. That's my favorite jockey. The journey that Abdul has been on is quite remarkable. It would have broken the spirit of many and, and most people. People in Britain, very kind people, really. Always uh, caring people, look after people, always. Now I'm so happy. I'm feeling like my hope here. Yeah. <laughs>